Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to start seeing a new story called The Legend of the Super Saiyan Dragon. This story takes place after the end of the Dragon Ball GT saga, where Goku ended up leaving with Shenron to another world. But what no one knows is that Goku is part of a prophecy, the legendary Super Saiyan Dragon, where Goku is the chosen warrior of this prophecy, and in this new journey, Goku will face new enemies and challenges, as well as discover more about his ancestors. But before we start to see this amazing story, don't forget to like and also make sure you comment on the story. Well, if you're already done, then grab your popcorn bucket and your soda and let's follow this new story. Planet Earth Currently on planet Earth, it was possible to see large amounts of energy coming out of all parts of the universe going to a single place heading towards planet Earth. But precisely for a person, the Saiyan known as Son Goku who was facing the one-star dragon that he had in his body all the evil spheres. Son Goku said, This is the end of him, Omega Shenron. Receive my strongest attack and disappear from my planet, Genki Dama. Screamed the Saiyan, throwing his most powerful attack on the one star evil dragon that had absorbed all the other six Dragon Balls. Omega Shenron said, Damn Son Goku, damn Kakarot, screamed the dragon before receiving Goku's attack. And soon, Omega Shenron's entire body was destroyed. And because of this attack, a great devastation and destruction happened. But to finish this huge attack went up to the heavens where it exploded creating a great explosion of energy outside the atmosphere. Finally the battle was over and finally the last of the evil dragons had been defeated and now all the dragon balls had returned to their former orange appearance with red stars. Soon the seven dragon balls rose to the heavens and began to glow and from that glow a gigantic oriental green dragon was formed. This dragon known as Shenron the Dragon of Desires now had no more evil energy in his body. Son Goku said, looks like the battle is finally over, as Shenron seems to be out of any evil energy. Finally, I'll be able to rest and eat some, said the Saiyan smiling as he looked at his clothes, which were completely ripped because of the battle between him and the evil dragons. Vegeta said, even though we almost died today, you still think about just eating. It had to be yourself, Kakarot, said Vegeta next to Goku who also had part of his clothes torn from the fight. Son Goku said, You can't blame me for that, Vegeta. We both fought a lot today and spent a lot of energy fighting the evil dragons. And besides, we're both tired from having used the power of Super Saiyan 4 and the fusion that we both did. Saiyajin said while looking at his friend and rival. Vegeta said, I can't deny it. The power of Super Saiyan 4 is very great. And we fought an opponent who had the power of all other corrupted dragons at the same time. But now that's all over, so we can rest for a while, or at least until a new enemy appears, says Vegeta, sitting on the ground next to Goku. Soon Goku and Vegeta's friends approached them, who were beside them, and soon the two Saiyans started talking to their friends and family while both were held by their children, as both Goku and Vegeta were too tired to stand. But Shenron was still flying over the place where Goku was, but quickly he descended and got close to Goku before starting to talk to him. Shenron said, Son Goku, the dragon spoke while looking at Goku, who then looked at him excitedly. Goku said, What do you want, Shenron? Did you come to thank us for defeating the evil dragons? The Saiyajin asked the Shenron, who had a more serious expression than usual. Shenron said, No, I didn't come to thank you for having defeated the evil dragons. After all, they were born because of you for making several unnecessary wishes. So the evil energy was born. Have you forgotten? said the dragon while looking at the Saiyan, who was a little embarrassed by the way he spoke. After all, it was true. Maglan energy was born because of some stupid wishes they made. Goku said, So what's your goal coming to our world now? The Saiyan asked Shenron, who then spoke. Shenron said, Simple. I came here to take you to another world to fulfill a prophecy. The dragon spoke, surprising everyone in the place, including Goku himself. Goku said, Wait, go to another world? Prophecy? said the Saiyan, completely lost in Shenron's words. Gohan said, What exactly is Shenron talking about? What kind of other world and what prophecy are you referring to? And what does my father have to do with it? The eldest son of Son Goku asked the dragon, who soon began to explain. Shenron said, In addition to your world, there is also the world of dragons, and the world of the gods, and several other worlds, and I will take Goku to this world of the gods. The reason is quite simple. Thousands of years ago, in the era of the gods, a prophecy was created where a being with gigantic power would defeat the gods and prevent their tyranny. These gods were true demons who didn't care, and they didn't care how many beings they killed and how many planets they would destroy for fun. 
Shenron spoke to everyone who was scared that there were beings with such strength and evil. Goten said, So gods really exist? But what does that have to do with my father? Asked Goku's youngest son to Shenron. Shenron said, The being that would defeat the gods would be a dragon, but a dragon with a human appearance. A being born as a warrior that would acquire dragonic powers, and with these powers defeat the gods, and this warrior is you, son Goku, said the dragon while looking at Goku, and the others who were in shock to hear that Goku is the chosen one, to be the one who would defeat the gods. Vegeta said, what do you mean? Kakarot? But how is that possible? We are purebred Saiyans and we don't have dragon powers, and as far as I know, Kakarot can't turn into a dragon. Or can you, Kakarot, and you didn't tell me, said the Saiyan who was completely outraged. Goku said, as far as I know, I can only transform into Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, and now Super Saiyan 4. I don't have the dragon transformation, said the Saiyan, still surprised to know that he is the prophecy warrior. Shenron said, no, you don't have that dragon power, at least not yet. You ended up absorbing the four-star spear during the fight against Omega Shenron, and thanks to that, a lot of dragon energy is inside your body. And this energy ended up merging with your DNA. And little by little, you will gain some dragon traits all over your body. And in the future, you can transform into a dragon. If you want, you can even call the future transformation of yours Super Saiyan Dragon, said Shenron while looking at the Saiyan who was excited to have this new power, the Super Saiyan Dragon. Vegeta said, but why did you just say Kakarot? I can also fight against these gods, said the Saiyan unhappy that only his rival can gain a new transformation and be able to fight against the gods. Shenron said, I'll explain. Only the one with the power of a dragon can kill the gods, and that's why we dragons were sealed inside the dragon world, so we wouldn't be a threat to their life. But I'm a rare case, and I can leave the dragon world during a short time thanks to the seven spheres. Shenron said while looking at Vegeta, who ended up taking a deep breath in anger and being left aside. Bulma said, but why would Goku have to face these gods? Is something necessary or not? Bulma said while looking at Shenron. Shenron said, I'm not forcing him to fight the gods, but I already warned the gods have been watching Goku since the day he faced and defeated the first evil dragon. And now they are wanting to kill Goku to ensure that no god dies. But I used my power to gain about one year, and after that time, the gods arrived on planet Earth, and they are going to destroy it all, and all its inhabitants. Alerted Shenron to everyone in the place who were in shock and fear of being killed by the gods. Goku said, since that's how I accept, I'll go along with you. Said Goku, walking closer to Shenron. Shenron said, great, then say goodbye to your family and friends because we are leaving so we can train in the dragon world. And during that time, you can't go back to your world planet Earth. Shenron said to Goku, who would soon bid farewell to his friends and family. Vegeta said, Seriously, Kakaroto, when you come back, I swear I'll be strong enough to defeat you. And when those gods arrive, I'll defeat them myself before you arrive, said the Saiyan, confident in his own strength, something that made Goku smile. Goku said, So when I come back, we will face each other, and I will be the one who will defeat you, Vegeta, said the Saiyan before climbing on Shenron's head, that soon began to fly, and both will ascend to the skies, where they disappeared and went to the dragon world. In another world, in the sky of another world, it was possible to see several golden particles that appeared in the skies, and when they came together, a dragon appeared, and on top of his head, there was a type of child, being Shenron, and Goku, Goku said, So it's in this world that I would face these gods and fulfill the prophecy. The Saiyan asked Shenron, who then answered him. Shenron said, No, we're currently in a world of dragons, and this will be the world that we will train to be able to perfect your powers and help you awaken your dragon power, said Shenron while flying. Goku said, Who's going to train me to get stronger? Is it you? The Saiyan asked Shenron, who then answered him. Shenron said, No. Who will train you will be the seven evil dragons, or rather now, they are known as white dragons. Shenron said to the Saiyan, who ended up being shocked and very angry. Goku said, What else? Soon those seven dragons. But how is it possible I killed all of them, and they wanted to kill me and all my friends? said the Saiyan angrily while looking at the dragon. Shenron said, don't forget that they had evil energy inside their bodies when you faced them, but after their death, they returned to my world, the dragon world, where their evil energy was purified, and now there are seven white dragons. So accept it because you will train with them for a few years, 
Shenron said while facing the Saiyan who was still angry but ended up calmer. Goku said, wait, did you say years? You had said that the gods would invade the land in a short time, so how do I have to train for years? The Saiyan asked Shenron who then answered him. Shenron said, we are in the world of dragons, Son Goku, and in this world the time is completely different. A year in your world would mean thousands of years in this world, so you don't have the time to worry about that, said the dragon while looking at Goku, who has now gone calmer. Goku said, well, I guess I don't have many options, do I? Said the Saiyan while looking at the dragon. Shenron said, not really. Now hold on because I'll fly faster. Dragon said before flying at high speed to a place where Goku's training would be. Now in a Japanese temple. In a Japanese temple within the world of dragons, it was possible to see seven beings being the former seven evil dragons that now no longer had evil energy within them. And the proof of this was that the Dragon Balls that were in their coloring, the end being the classic orange with red stars. Shenron, who was still flying at high speed, finally both arrived at the temple where the white dragons lived. And when Shenron arrived, he landed at the entrance of the temple and soon Son Goku descended from Shenron's head. Goku said, this temple is so cool. Is this where I will train and live from now on? Asked the Saiyan in a neutral tone to Shenron who immediately answered him. Shenron said, this is where you will live for the next few years, and these will be the white dragons that will train you from today, said the dragon, looking at the temple door where all seven dragons were. The moment Goku looked at Li Shenron, who is the one star dragon, he realized that he was no longer his enemy, as he will help Goku get stronger to protect his friends and family. But soon Goku also remembered that it was Li Shenron himself who tried to kill his family and tried to destroy the entire planet Earth. And for that reason, Goku turned into Super Saiyan 4 in a mere instant. Then Goku disappeared and appeared in front of Lee Shenron, punching the One Star Dragon in the face, causing it to be thrown into the temple and creating a small crater in the temple wall. Lee Shenron said, This one hurt, but if this was what you want, then this is what you will get. And let the training begin, said the One Star Dragon advancing towards Goku, who was in his Super Saiyan 4 form. Soon the Saiyan and the One Star Dragon started exchanging blows, and Li Shenron was getting the better and dodging almost all of Goku's attacks, who was being badly hurt by Li Shenron, who was smiling while humiliating the Saiyan. Li Shenron said, you may be strong in your world, but this is my world, the world of dragons, and here we dragons are stronger. So I'm going to end this once and for all. Dragon Cannon. The One Star Dragon spoke, shooting a blast of dark blue energy at the Saiyan who received the attack from the front, causing him to be thrown at high speed at the entrance of the Dragon Temple. Shenron said, I think I forgot to tell you, Son Goku. Here in the world of dragons, we are stronger. Here we have complete freedom to use our powers, so you're still weak to face any of the seven dragons. Shenron spoke to the Saiyan, who had already returned to his base form and now had several injuries on his body. Li Shenron said, I know I've done some things against you and your friends, but now whether or not I and the other dragons would train you, so accept it at once and think twice before attacking me, you idiot Saiyan, said the one star dragon that was floating in front of Goku, who gnashed his teeth because of rage. Goku said, it looks like I'll obey your orders and call you master, said the Saiyan angrily as he stood up and looked at Li Shenron, who looked at him with disgust and contempt. Li Shenron said, think of what you want, Saiyan, because whether you want to or not, you will have to be trained by me, unless you want to be defeated by those damned gods. This choice is yours, because if you are defeated by the gods, it will also be the end of planet Earth. After all, I have nothing to do with it, since the gods will not want to touch us dragons, said the One Star Dragon before entering into the temple, leaving only Shenron and the other dragons, along with Son Goku, who was still angry knowing that Lee Shenron was right. Goku thought, more than shit, really? Here I'm weak, and because of that, I won't be able to face these gods. And if I don't kill these gods, I won't be able to protect my friends and family. The Saiyan thought as he gnashed his teeth, showing his anger for knowing that Lee Shenron was right, and it made him very angry. Su Shenron said, You're very hard-headed, you know, Son Goku. The four-star dragon spoke approaching the Saiyan, who was soon happy to look at his dragon friend. Goku said, Four stars, and yourself? I'm glad to see you again. Saiyan and while looking at the friend, four star dragon. Su Shenron said, but of course it's me. Even over the years, you're still a troubled boy. 
even more coming here wanting to face Li Shenron, since he is much stronger than you. The four-star dragon said, while looking at the Saiyan who had a doubt at that moment. Goku said, why do you guys seem to be so much stronger than when I faced all of you on planet Earth? The Saiyan asked the dragon still in the place, and soon Ryu Shenron answered him. Ryu Shenron said, it's very simple. Shenron must have already spoken, but we dragons were sealed in this world. So when we went to your world, we had our powers reduced. In short, you faced us while we were with our powers reduced. Spoke the six-star dragon while looking at the Saiyan who now understood why Li Shenron was so strong. Goku said, well, that explains why he's so strong. But then when will my training start? I need to get stronger and get over you. <laughs> Asked the Saiyan while smiling at Shenron who then answered him. Shenron said, get some rest. Your training will start tomorrow morning. So eat as much as you can and get as much rest as you can too, as your training won't be light at all, said the dragon while looking at Goku who felt an icy shiver in his backbone. Su Shenron said, that's right Goku, welcome to the world of dragons, but it can also be known as a place where you will have the hellish and hardest training of all. Spoke the four-star dragon with an evil smile in his face, along with everyone, the other dragons, except Li Shenron, who wasn't at the scene. Goku said, I think if I don't die to those gods, this training will kill me. <laughs> the Saiyan thought, already afraid of his training, that would be a real hell. It had been one day since the day that Goku had arrived in the world of dragons, and now he was in front of all seven white dragons, and now Shenron would start training the Saiyan to awaken his draconic powers. Goku said, What are we going to do today, Shenron? The Saiyan asked Shenron who was behind the other dragons. Shenron said, Today will be the beginning of your training to awaken your draconic powers. And only after you awaken your draconic powers will your real training begin. So get ready because your current training will not be easy. But next time, you will feel like you've been through hell, said the dragon to the Saiyan who gave a nervous smile. Goku thought, how exciting. On second thought, accepting this proposal to face the gods wasn't a bad idea. The Saiyan thought as he looked at Shenron and the other dragons. Goku said, so who will be the first to train me to awaken my draconic powers? Said the Saiyan to the dragons in front of him. Shenron said, Who will take care of your training to awaken your draconic powers will be me. So let's go. Get on my head and we'll go to another place to start your training. Said Shenron to the Saiyan, who soon did what was ordered. And with a jump, Goku climbed on Shenron's head, who soon left the place to fly to another island where they could train. Goku said, Shenron, why are we going to train elsewhere and not here at the temple? Asked the Saiyan while looking at Shenron. Shenron said, We are going to train on another island because when you transform into a dragon, you will release all your power at once and it will cause a big explosion. And besides, you will be out of your mind as the dragon's instincts will dominate. You won't know who is friend and who is enemy. You will simply attack everything and everyone you see in front of you. Shenron explained to the Saiyan who now understood the reason for going to train in another place and not in the Dragon Temple. Goku said, Okay then. Hey Shenron, when I awaken my draconic powers, will I look different? Like, will my body undergo any changes? The Saiyan asked Shenron who quickly answered him. Yes. Probably when you awaken your draconic powers, you will gain some draconic characteristics for your body. But maybe if you're lucky, you will get your normal appearance back said Shenron to the Saiyan who was happy. Goku said, I don't want to be like you, <laughs> said the Saiyan playing with Shenron who soon arrived at the island where the two of them would train for as long as it took for Goku to awaken his dragon powers. Shenron said, we are here. This will be the place where I will train you to awaken your dragon powers. The dragon spoke to Goku who soon left his head and went to the ground. Now with the other dragons. Currently in the Dragon Temple, it was possible to see all seven dragons gathered in a kind of meeting room, talking and discussing Goku's training, where they would also train Goku. Ryu Shenron said, Will it take long for that Saiyan to awaken the powers of a dragon? Well, I hope it won't take too long. The faster he awakens the powers of a dragon, the faster we can train him, the six-star dragon said while looking at the other dragons. Li Shenron said, Don't count on it. Even that Saiyan, being considerably strong, he won't be able to awaken his powers of a dragon so fast, said the one-star dragon attracting the attention of the other dragons except Su Shenron, who already knew why Goku would take time to gain the powers of a dragon. Rian Shenron said, Why are you saying this, Li Shenron, and how are you so sure? 
The two-star dragon asked Li Shenron, but soon Su Shenron was the one who answered, saying, Simple. Naturally, Goku is a Saiyan, and because of the Saiyan's instincts, he will conflict with the dragon's instincts. So he will have to keep both instincts in harmony so that he can use both powers, or at least use the powers of a dragon. The four-star dragon spoke while looking at the other dragons. San Shenron said, In short, he now has the instincts of a Saiyan and a dragon. These powers are very different, and so he needs to have a perfect harmony to use both instincts. But for that, he will have to adapt to the dragon's instincts, and after that he will be able to use both powers at the same time. The three-star dragon spoke while all the dragons listened, including the one-star dragon. Zhu Shenron said, well, anyway, the only thing we can do is wait for those Saiyans to awaken their dragon powers. Until then, we will have enough time to define how each of us will train him, said the five-star dragon on his other fellow dragons, who just nodded their heads. Li Shenron said, Well, now it's time to hope that Shenron manages to make Goku awaken his dragon instincts. The one-star dragon spoke, ending the matter about the awakening of Goku's powers and dragon instinct. Chi Shenron said, but now that we're done with this subject, I have a question. Does Goku have the powers of a dragon because he absorbed the four-star spear when he was on the Earth planet? So, will he have similar powers to Su Shenron? Asked the seven-star dragon with a doubt if Goku would have any of the four-star dragon's powers. Su Shenron said, Now that you say it, it can happen since he is only a dragon, because he absorbed some of my powers, and that could make him gain one of my characteristics, or my powers. But at the moment, we can only wait to see what the powers of Goku's dragon, the four-star dragon, had spoken. In the world of the gods. In a world completely different from the world of dragons, it was possible to see several beings arguing in a kind of arena that was crowded and everyone was seated. And in the center, there was a being sitting on a golden throne with the appearance of a dragon. In that place, it was possible to see several of those beings screaming against each other, angry for various reasons, but the main one was because of a legend created several years ago, was starting to become true, and that worried everyone in that place. Because if this legend is fulfilled, the end of the gods would be closer than they expected. A mysterious god spoke, Enough is enough. Everyone shut your mouths now. The god spoke in the center of that place who was sitting on the golden throne. Right after that mysterious god spoke, the other gods quickly became silent. It was a silent place waiting for the god in the center to say what he wanted. But soon a woman who was standing next to the god began to speak. The mysterious goddess spoke, saying, Well, now that all of you are finally silent, after our king spoke, something I must say that I am disappointed that we as gods, especially you, have lost your composure in the face of a mere insect that we can kill easily, said the goddess while looking at the other gods in the place, that they were embarrassed by the goddess's speech and no one could contradict. After all, she was Mira, the wife of the god king Kairan, and also being the goddess of the dead. Kairan said, Calm down, Mira. The prophecy says that our end is before our eyes, and that's enough to make them fear for their lives. And I don't deny it, I'm also a little worried about this prophecy, but also my wife is right. We are gods, and as such we should not lose our composure just because of a mortal, spoke the current king of gods. Mysterious God said, yes, but even so, this mortal is said to be the one that treats our downfall, my father, and that cannot be ignored by us. So I say that we should go to other worlds and look for the damned Saiyan and kill him as soon as possible. That way we can finally get rid of this prophecy that has been plaguing us for several years. Kairan said, I understand you, my son Khan, but still we cannot make a fuss about it. But we should still send some weaker gods to other dimensions to look for the Saiyan, and if we find him, and to keep an eye on him until if he turns out to be a true user of draconic powers, then he should immediately return to the world of the gods, speaks Kairan while looking at the gods in the location, until his son Khan manifests again. Khan said, If this is how you want, my father, then so be it. But I would like to choose those who go to the other dimensions and look for the Saiyan of the prophecy. And I ask that the Lord allow me, as the god of war, to face him and deliver his head on a silver platter to you, spoke the god of war while looking at his father. Kairan said, I have no complaints about that. So go, my son, and choose who will travel between dimensions to look for this being of the prophecy. And if they really find him, you will have your opportunity to defeat him and show once again to all the gods that you are the strongest god of war in all of history. Kairan said as he looked at his son, 
who soon got a big smile on his lips. Khan said, Yes, my father, I will do it immediately, said the god of war as he left the place leaving a trail of flames where he was. Currently, it was possible to see Goku being trained by Shenron, who told him to do several repetitions of physical exercises, something that the Saiyan was having difficulties since Shenron had given Goku four weights that were increasing their weight over time. And Goku had each of these weights on each leg and each arm. Goku said, 97, 98, 99, 100. I finished, said the Saiyan when he finished doing another series of exercises. And now each of the weights that Goku was having on his body weighed around 5 tons, having a total of 20 tons that he was carrying with himself. Shenron said, good, very good. Now that you've finished your 10th set of exercises, let's do something else, the dragon said while looking at Goku. Goku said, what shall we do now, Shenron? Asked the Saiyan while looking at Shenron. Shenron said, now comes the part where you will have to face your dragon instinct. Just like you did to transform into Super Saiyan 4, you had to show your essence when you transformed into Ozaru, which is the true form of Saiyans. Not, and really, the dragon said while looking at Goku. Goku said, so I'm going to have to lose control of myself and turn into a dragon? The same way when I turn into Ozaru and gain the power of Super Saiyan 4. What if I manage to keep my conscience and that way I'll gain my dragon powers? The Saiyan asked Shenron, who then answered him. Shenron said, I will explain to you when you will actually become a dragon. But when you keep your consciousness, you will return to normal. But the difference is that you will have your dragon powers. That will develop over time. So when you back to normal, you will still have some characteristics of a dragon. Shenron explained to the Saiyan, who soon understood what he meant. Goku said, Ada, now I understand. So how exactly am I going to transform into a dragon? Will I have to see any planets that transmit blue rays like the Ozaru transformation? Asked the Saiyan, curious to know how he will become a dragon. Shenron said, No. Instead of you receiving energy from the blood's rays to transform into an Ozaru, this time you will transform into a dragon. I will give you my energy, and when that happens, you will have to control yourself to return to normal without my help. But since you already went through something similar when you turned into Super Saiyan 4 for the first time, I think it will be easy for you to solve this problem and get back to normal and have control over yourself again. Spoke Shenron to the Saiyan that now understood the process to transform into a dragon. Goku said, Well, I just hope I can get back to normal as soon as possible, said the Saiyan already preparing to receive Shenron's energy and become a dragon. Shenron said, So, are you ready to become a real dragon, Son Goku? Shenron asked the Saiyan in front of him, who then gave a heavy sigh and spoke. He said, Yes, I'm ready to receive your energy and become a dragon, said the Saiyan with all his determination to Shenron, who ended up smiling at him. Great, Shenron spoke before shooting yellow and red energy from his eyes that hit Goku. The moment Shenron's energy entered Goku's body, he started screaming a lot, because of so much pain he was feeling in his body as his DNA was slowly changing. After a few minutes of Goku screaming of pain, it was finally possible to hear just the purest silence. But after a few seconds, the silence of that place changed completely when Goku lifted his face and showed that his eyes were very different than normal. And again Goku screamed again, but this time it wasn't from pain because of Shenron's energy, but pain from feeling his entire body transform into that of a dragon. Soon. Dark blue scales began to appear on Goku's body. His tail before a monkey had now become that of a dragon's. His teeth became fans, and his nails into claws. After the small changes in Goku's body, dark blue energy began to circulate through his body until it formed a huge dark blue oriental dragon. After Goku had completely finished his transformation, it was possible to see that he was almost the same size as Shenron, only much weaker than Shenron. Now that Goku had no control over his instincts, he started a battle against Shenron. And for Goku not to get hurt, Shenron had to wrap himself around the body of Goku, who was in his dragon form, causing Goku to lose his abilities to defend or attack. Shenron thought, Interesting, this dragon form of his reminds me of my brother who was killed during a battle against those gods, and he was the reason the gods feared the power of us dragons. Now that I'm thinking about it, my brother had a son thousands of years ago. Is Son Goku one of his descendants? If so, then it makes sense that he has so many of his characteristics. 
thought Shenron as he analyzed Goku's draconic form that very much resembled his older brother, who was killed by the gods. Shenron thought, My brother was the one who caused the creation of the prophecy that would defeat all the gods, and if Goku is really his descendant, then my brother was the one who started the fight, and Goku will be the one to end it. Shenron thought as he looked at Goku in his dragon form. Three hours later. After about three hours after Goku was turned into a dragon, it was finally possible to see the huge dark blue dragon becoming calm, and suddenly all of Goku's body started to glow at once, and soon the huge dragon had disappeared. And now it was possible to see Goku in his base form, but very different from his usual form. Goku now had a dark blue dragon tail, his eyes were the same color, and his nails had become claws in addition to his sharper canine teeth, giving a much wider appearance to the Saiyan. But the most amazing thing is that now Goku had a pair of dark blue wings on his back. Goku said, Wow, what a headache, and what a strange feeling. I feel something heavy on my back, said the Saiyan. Strange, the feeling on his back. Shenron said, If you're finding it so weird, why don't you see it for yourself? said Shenron while looking at Goku, who soon turned his face and looked at his back seeing a pair of dragon wings, something that made the Saiyan get very surprised. Goku said, I have dragon wings? Not only that, my Saiyan tail got different. My nails became claws and my teeth are much sharper, especially my canines that look like fangs, said the Saiyan extremely surprised by his new appearance. In a place further away from where Goku and Shenron were, a mysterious god spoke. What the hell? Because I have to stick with these boring jobs of looking for things, and now I have to look for the one who will possibly bring the destruction of all the gods? The divine being spoke clearly outraged by the role he was given. Another mysterious god spoke. I, the great Hiko, the god of winds, will soon look for this Saiyan who can have the power of dragons. The god spoke revealing his name, and then quickly disappeared from the place, leaving only a small amount of dust in the place he was. Hiko, for being the god of winds, had a very high speed, and for that reason Khan had chosen him to do this mission with other gods who were also in other worlds, looking for the one who would bring the destruction of all gods. And that being was a Saiyan of the prophecy known as Son Goku. During his explosion through that dimension, Hiko finally feels something unusual, a great power appearing, and soon Hiko seeing that gives a smile, because that was not the power of a normal dragon. Hiko said, look who would say, this power is really great. Maybe this is the power of the one who will destroy all the gods. Well, I'll only be able to find out where this power came from when I'd go there. Finally, Hiko flying at high speeds in the direction where he had felt the great power. Soon the god finally found a place where he felt great power, and there he found the legendary dragon known as Shenron. Hiko said, so this is the Shenron guy. I must say that he is quite strong. But it's not from him that I felt that power. It was from another being. But whose will it be? The god wondered while looking at Shenron, who soon ended up lifting his body enough for Hiko to see Son Goku in his new form. Hiko thought, this energy coming from him is impressive. So the energy I felt came from that being? But why am I shaking? I am a god and he is a mere dragon. Unless there is a being destined to defeat all the gods. Hiko thought as he felt his body tremble. It was as if he felt that Goku was the one destined to kill him and the other gods. Hiko thought, I have to get out of here now and warn the other gods. Thought the god was leaving the place. But because of his own anxiety, he ended up making noise, attracting the attention of Shenron and Goku. Shenron said, Damn it, Goku will soon leave this world. He is a god, and he will probably warn the others that you are in this world. Defeat him soon, ordered the dragon while facing Goku seriously. Goku said, it's okay, even though I have control and I don't even know what my current power is, I'm going to face him and I'm going to defeat him, said Goku, then flying off with his new dragon wings, after the god who came looking for him. In the Dragon World Currently in the world of dragons, it was possible to see Goku, now with his draconic appearance, flying now using his dragon wings to reach Hiko, the god who had found him. But now Goku has to prevent him from running away because if Goku can't stop the god, he would warn the other gods. And if that happened, Goku would be in danger and would probably be killed by several gods. Goku thought, I have to go faster than ever. If I can't catch him now, he'll warn the other gods. And if that happens, they'll come here to destroy me. 
thought the Saiyan with his dragon form. As he flapped his new wings, acquired to catch up to Hiko, who was flying too fast. Hiko thought, damn, damn, I can't create a portal to get out of this world. It means that Shenron and his other dragons must have created a kind of barrier that prevents the creation of portals between dimensions. But luckily, I left a portal ready on one of these islands, thought the god of winds as he flew towards the portal he had left open to escape that world. As Hiko continued to fly to escape in that place, he cursed the dragons for having created the barrier that prevented him from creating another portal to leave that dimension. But because of despair, Hiko was left with low guard. Goku at his maximum speed and without control managed to hold Hiko, and by the high speed they both fell on an island near them. The moment they both hit the ground, they ended up creating a medium-sized crater, in addition to a large amount of dust, but soon it was possible to see two shadows coming out of the crater, and these shadows moved away from each other. Being those shadows, Goku and Hiko, the god, being surprised that Goku managed to catch him in midair. Hiko thought, impressive. Even though I was flying at high speed, this dragon managed to keep up with me. Even if he didn't have control over his speed, he still managed to reach me, and now we're both on this island. Thought the god of winds, surprised that Goku managed to do it, keep up with this speed that easily surpassed that of sound. Goku thought, well I managed to reach him and still bring him to the ground, but now the question is, am I strong enough to defeat this god, or at least delay him until the other white dragons arrive? Goku wondered with his Super Saiyan dragon, while looking at Hiko who suddenly gained a more confident smile and looked at Goku. Hiko said, I admit you're kind of strong and the energy are emanating, you must be the one who will kill all the gods, or at least that's what the prophecy says about the being who will kill all the gods, said the flying god as he released his power, causing the wind in the surrounding sky to start circling his own body. Goku said, from what I was told, this being that will overthrow the kingdom of the gods and kill them will be myself, but I don't know if it's really me. After all, I only managed to awaken these dragon powers a few minutes ago, said Goku while looking at Hiko, who suddenly started laughing at Son Goku's face. Hiko said, you're really an idiot, hmm? I'm your enemy, and you really just told me that you awakened your dragon powers just now. Are you some kind of idiot or what? The god spoke while laughing at Goku's face as he just revealed that he released his dragon powers just a few minutes ago. Hiko thought, I should leave quickly and bring the other gods to help me kill this guy. But as he said he himself, he awakened his dragon powers a little while ago. So I have enough power to defeat him. And if I can get rid of him, it'll make me a legend in the world of the gods. I will be the one who prevented the ruin of all the gods. Thought the god extremely excited to be able to defeat Son Goku and take his head as a prize, and become the one who prevented the death of all gods. Even though Goku had a little difficulty controlling his new body, he continued to face the god, and prepared to attack if Hiko advanced towards him. Said and done, in a short space of time, Hiko, who was away from Goku, was now in front of him, preparing a left punch to Goku's face. But Goku, guided by his new dragon instinct, he managed to get his right arm to defend. Hiko thought, he managed to defend himself from my blow thought the god as he looked at his fist that was being supported by Goku's arm. Goku seeing that Hiko was distracted decided to punch him with his other arm, but Hiko seeing the blow coming, he simply jumped back dodging Goku's blow. That moment, Hiko landed on the ground. Goku came towards him with another blow, which Hiko decided to dodge, and then kicked Goku in the stomach causing him to be thrown a little far away. Quickly without giving Goku time to breathe, Hiko already appears on top of Goku, and tries to do a top-down kick, but Goku was faster, and using his teleport to dodge the attack. Seeing that Goku had dodged his attack, Hiko was surprised but soon turned around to defend himself from Goku's attack, being this a punch that Hiko ended up defending using his arms in an X shape. But even if defending Hiko and thrown away because of the impact of Goku's punch, now Goku in his dragon form possessed much greater strength than when he was a Saiyan. Hiko thought, this guy is really strong. Even though he gained the dragon power a short time ago, he seems to be already adapting to it at an increasing rate. Really impressive. He really must be the one that will bring the downfall of us the gods, and that will make me want to kill him as soon as possible. Thought the god excitedly, as he now had absolute confirmation that that dragon ahead of him would be the one who would destroy all the gods, bringing the era of gods to an end. Hiko, seeing that Goku would really be the one who would kill all the gods, decided to fight seriously. 
So quickly, the god advanced towards Goku, and soon the two started an exchange of blows, being all of them physical. Because of the blows of both beings, the small island where both were fighting ended up being destroyed with the impact of the blows. Outside, a great pressure in the air. Soon, the island where they were facing was destroyed, and between the blocks of Earth, they were falling. Goku and Hiko began to fight among the wreckage of the small island, and the blows of both warriors were too fast to be followed by normal eyes. On an island a little far away. While both were fighting on an island a little far away, all seven white dragons were watching Goku's fight against the God of Winds. Sun Shenron said, It's only been a short time since he acquired the power of a dragon, but he's already managing to face a god. This is surprising. The three-star dragon said while looking at Goku, who was facing Hiko. Su Shenron said, Of course, this god is weak, but he is still a god. So for someone who has just gained the powers of a dragon, he has gone through a major change in his body. It's quite surprising, said the four-star dragon while looking for Goku and Hiko's fight. Li Shenron said, He is adapting to the power of dragons quickly, and that is impressive. But still he is weak compared to the true gods. And this god that Goku is facing is nothing more than an apprentice of a god. If he faced the true god of the winds, he would be quickly defeated, said the one-star dragon as he watched the battle between Goku and Hiko, which apparently was balanced. But to the more attentive eyes, Goku was slowly getting stronger as the time of the fight passed. Shenron thought, In a short time, Goku's power is rising very fast. Maybe it's the advantages of him being a Saiyan, and for that reason, he's getting strong quickly. It really makes a lot of sense for him to be the chosen one to defeat all the gods in the future. So beat Goku and show that god that they really do have something that makes them afraid. The fear of approaching death thought the dragon as he looked at the battle between Goku and Hiko that was getting more intense by the second. Now back with Goku and Hiko. The battle between Goku and Hiko was very balanced. Well, it seemed as Goku began to get the better of the god who began to release a lot more energy and he was no longer willing to play. Hiko thought, this battle is already taking a long time, thought the god as he looked at the blue dragon in front of him. Hiko said, you are strong dragon, but I'm already tired of this battle. So let's end it once and for all, said the god, starting to release a gigantic energy, making his body look different, now having a much bigger size, besides having several bright green marks on his body. Goku said, then let's go with everything, spoke Goku, releasing the maximum energy from his body, making the dragon scales of his body start to grow brightly, while his eyes also glow a pure, intense navy blue. At that moment, the real battle between the God of Winds and the dragon that would bring about the end of the gods would begin in the dragon world. Currently in the dragon world, it was possible to see Goku in his dragon form facing Hiko in his God of Winds form, and now the two will start the real battle between them. Hiko says, I hope you don't dive too fast, because now I activated my divine form. I will only be able to calm down after a few days or if I get knocked out said the God of Winds, giving the warning about the state of his power to Son Goku, who was smiling. Goku said, interesting, because I have no idea how I'm going to get back to normal now that I'm in this dragon form. And I should also warn you that this power looks like the power of a Super Saiyan, but only much stronger. Goku said excitedly while looking at the God of Winds, who smiled just like Goku. Then in a magic pass, the two warriors disappeared and reappeared, making the first punch exchange which, due to the collision of both blows, the floor of the place ended up creating several cracks, and with that, ended up destroying the rest of the place, where both, so the two separated soon, he could created a sphere made of wind and shot it at Goku, who did something similar, collecting energy and air inside his lungs, and then fired a blast of dark blue flames that came out of his mouth at the moment in time. The attacks collided, creating a large explosion, because of Goku and Hiko's attack, it ended up creating a lot of smoke, and soon two auras came out of the smoke screen, one of which was dark blue, and the other was light green. Those auras were of Goku and the other of Hiko, being Goku's south dark and Hiko's light green. Both auras were heading towards the heavens, until the auras stopped in the sky and suddenly advanced towards each other. In this way, the two collided, causing great pressure in the air, something that caused a great noise. Soon it was possible to see both warriors flying across the world of dragons as they clashed in midair. During the journey of both warriors flying all over the dragon world, they ended up destroying some small islands and destroying some mountains all over the world. 
and just after a few minutes when both warriors were facing each other, they both ended up landing on an island much larger than the others. Over here, there was a dragon watching their gaze. Did it belong to white dragons, or snow, or ice dragons? Hiko said, Wow, I must admit that your power is much greater than I expected. And even though I'm already using my divine power, you're still standing, and you have a few injuries on your body, which is amazing, said the god as he looked at Goku, who had small cuts and some bruises all over the blue dragon's body. Goku said, I must say the same thing, you're really strong, and it just gets me excited, really excited. Even though I used all my power and hit you several times, you have few wounds on your body, said Goku while looking at the god in front of him, who also had a few wounds on his body. Hiko said, This fight of ours was a lot of fun, but it should end now. The god spoke releasing even more of his power, making small green cracks in his skin which started to attract a lot of wind. Goku said, So it looks like I'll have to raise my power above my limit. So let's go with everything we've got at once, spoke Goku releasing even more of his power, making his scales shine even more, as well as making sparks of electricity come out of his body. Soon the auras of Goku and Hiko were so high that it ended up that both auras together were able to make the climate of the place change, and the clouds of the place that were golden turned black, and lightning started to fall all over the land, and where these lightning or thunder fell, it destroyed the site, causing a small crater on the site. After a few seconds, Goku and Hiko finally stopped raising their power. They both stared at each other for a few seconds before their auras died. Their bodies and then the two warriors advanced towards each other. Hiko, the moment he got close to Goku, he tried to punch the dragon in the face, but Goku being faster dodged to the side and didn't receive Hiko's punch. Goku seeing that small chance punched Hiko in the face that ended up not dodging and that way he ended up getting a full punch on the right side of his face. And soon the god of winds was thrown away, but soon the same if recovered and again advanced towards Goku who tried to land a kick in Hiko's face, who deflected, lowering his body, and then placed the palm of his hand on Goku's abdomen, and soon he released a blast of green energy mixed with wind, making the dragon fly away. But soon Goku, using his wings, managed to stabilize himself in the air, returns flying at high speed towards Hiko, making his key wrap around his body, that soon crashed into Hiko, who had to block Goku's attack, making an X with his arms to try to soften the blow. Because of the attack, Hiko ended up being thrown against a mountain and crossing it because of the impact of Goku's attack. Goku said, This attack of mine now must have hurt him a lot. My energy is already running out, so I have to finish him off as soon as possible, because I don't know how long I'll be able to stay in battle, said the dragon, very panting as smoke came out of his body because of the exhaustion that Goku was accumulating. Hiko said, Enough! screamed the god, rising up from the wreckage of the place he had been thrown by Goku's attack. Hiko said, I am tired of this shit fight. I am a god, and I will not be killed by a mere shit dragon. It will be me who will kill you, and that will be now, shouted the god of winds in an act of pure fury, as he released a lot of energy and prepared to make his final attack. Goku said, Looks like this will be the final attack, doesn't it? If that's how you want it, then I'll do the same, screamed Goku, releasing the rest of his energy in his body. Now with the other dragons. In the sky above, it was possible to see all seven white dragons together with Shenron, who didn't stop for a moment to observe Goku's battle against Hiko, and they all knew that now would be the final attack. Su Shenron said, Looks like this will be their final attack, doesn't it? The four-star dragon spoke while looking at Goku and Hiko. San Shenron said, from what I can see, yes, this will be the final blow for both. Wu Shenron said, Does he have enough energy to defeat that guy? Because from what I'm seeing, he will be defeated, as he has no energy left in his body. The dragon said while looking at Goku, who was accumulating the little amount of energy in his body. Now with Goku. Now finally, both Goku and Hiko had gathered all their strength to make their final attack. The amount of energy that Hiko had gathered had created a huge glowing green tornado of wind, and Goku's had created a Shenron-like dragon made purely of draconic energy. Hiko spoke. Before you die, tell me your name, dragon. The god spoke as he finished gathering his energy. Son Goku said, My name is Goku, and I will be the one who will bring ruin to the gods to protect my friends and my family. Spoke Goku 
as he finishes gathering his draconic energy. Hiko said, So, Son Goku, you will have the honor of dying by my hand. Die by the hands of Hiko, the god of the wind. The god has now spoken with all his might gathered. Hiko said, Divine Torrent! Screamed the god, launching his strongest attack on Goku, being a kind of gale that destroyed everything it touched. Goku said, Wave of Draconic Destruction! Screamed Goku, releasing his attack that had the appearance of a gigantic blue dragon that met Hiko's attack. Soon the two attacks ended up clashing, and because Goku had a lower amount of energy, Hiko with his attack was dominating Goku, until Goku felt someone's hand on his back. It was Lee Shenron. Lee Shenron said, You really are pathetic, losing to a low-level god like that, but you still can't die, and so I'm going to give you a small amount of my energy. So finish this idiot off once and for all, said the one-star dragon, transmitting its draconic energy to Goku. Goku, the moment he felt the draconic energy enter his body, he felt stronger than ever, and with a roar, Goku released even more energy, making the energy dragon increase in size, and of course increasing its power. Thus the attack of Hiko began to be overwhelmed by Goku's attack. Hiko thought, No, I'm really going to lose to this guy? So this is where I'll die? What the hell? Soon I would reach the top and become the next supreme god of the wind. I'll now be killed by this damn dragon. Thought the god as he looked at Goku's attack that was getting closer and closer to him. Hiko said, Damn son Goku. Screamed the god once and for all as he was engulfed by Goku's attack, thus killing him once and for all with not even the wind god's bones left after the attack was finished. In this way, Goku ended up winning his first battle against a god, and after the battle, Goku fell in a faint, and soon returned to his human form without any characteristics of a blue dragon. Moments after Goku defeats Hiko. After Goku uses his most powerful attack to destroy Hiko, god of the winds, Goku ended up passing out because he used all his energy, even though he received some of Lee Shenron's energy. Goku's body couldn't take it, and as Li Shenron was on his side, he didn't drop it to the ground after the Saiyan passed out. Li Shenron said, His power in the human world was quite strong. But in this world, he's as weak as a draconic cockroach. And that's kind of disappointing. Hey, son Shenron, take this Saiyan and take him, because I won't take him on my back. Li Shenron said, throwing Goku's body passed out to the four-star dragon, who soon caught him, still in the air, and placed him on his shoulders. Sun Shenron said, You could be nicer to him, won't you? The four-star dragon spoke to the one-star dragon. Li Shenron said, I saved his life by giving him some of my precious draconic energy, so I think I was already very kind to him. Now let's go. Shenron has to heal Goku so he can start training. We don't have time to waste. The one-star dragon spoke to all the other dragons and soon they all flew towards the dragon temple. In the dragon temple. After the dragons arrived at the dragon temple, Shenron started to heal Goku immediately and after a few hours, Goku was already fully recovered and ready to start his training with the dragons. Goku said, But what happened? Goku asked Shenron, who was beside him, taking care of his recovery. Shenron said, You faced that god of the winds of low rank, and after you received a little of Li Shenron's power, you managed to defeat him. But for having used practically all of your power, you ended up passing out and returning to your normal form. But if you lift your shirt, you will see that some parts of your body have some dark blue circles. Shenron said to Goku, who then lifted his shirt and saw that on the sides of his body, there were some dragon scales. Goku said, Does this mean that I am the Saiyan of legend who will put an end to the tyranny of the gods? Said Goku, still surprised that he is really the Saiyan and the dragon that will defeat all the gods. Shenron said, Did you still have that doubt? Of course, it's the Saiyan dragon from the Book of Legend that will end the gods. Now stop asking stupid questions and get up soon, because your real training will start now," said the dragon a little annoyed by the fact that Goku is still in doubt as to whether or not he is the Saiyan dragon destined to end the gods. Shenron said, Now that I've released your dragon power, you will start being trained by each of us, totaling seven dragons. So get ready because they won't take it easy on your training, son Goku. Shenron warned him while looking at the Saiyan in front of him. Goku said, So is my training really going to start? It's about time. With this training, I'll be able to master my dragon power, and if I master it completely, I can combine it with my Saiyan power, said the Saiyan dragon excited about his training, because in the future, he would be able to use the dragon's powers along with the powers of the Saiyan, becoming a perfect hybrid. Shenron said, 
You're excited about your trading and that's good. But I'm genuinely curious how long your excitement will last as you're going to go through hell during that training. And what you're going to hate most when is training by Lee Shenron since he doesn't like you very much. And you don't like him either. <laughs> so let's go, Son Goku, and welcome to your infernal training. The dragon spoke with a sadistic tone while talking to Goku who ended up being slightly afraid of his training, especially with the training with Lee Shenron. Goku thought, I hope I don't end up dying during this training, but I'm sure they'll make me want to choose death, especially the one-star dragon. But if I want to defeat the gods and protect those who are important to me, I have to stay. I have to be stronger and defeat all the gods, thought the Saiyan dragon afraid of his training, but at the same time with determination because all this was necessary for Goku to protect his family and friends. In the world of the gods. Currently in the world of the gods, it was possible to see several gods arguing against each other, and the reason for all this commotion was the death of Hiko, one of the most promising wind gods in charge of the supreme god of the winds. All the gods were wanting to know who was responsible for the death of the god of winds, but soon everyone fell silent when Kairon slammed his staff to the ground. Kairon said, Now that everyone is silent, I can speak. A member of the pantheon of the elements of nature was killed, and that means the prophecy is real. And now I have no more doubts, our end is very near. Hiko's death shows that the prophecy is real, and this individual threatens our lives, said the king of the gods who is also the current supreme god of destruction and creation, being the strongest current god, possessing the same bloodlines as the dragons. The mysterious god said, That's right, my king. With the confirmation of the prophecy, we must find this mortal at all costs and kill him soon. In fact, I came here to ask you for your permission for me and the gods of my platoon to go after this cursed dragon and kill him. With that, I, Infrit, the supreme god of flames and current leader of the elemental god's platoon, will put his head on a silver platter and place in front of Hiko's grave one of the most promising gods of my elemental platoon. The supreme god of flames spoke while speaking with a tone of fury and revenge to Kairon. Kairon said, I respect his decision and his desire for revenge. Infrit, that won't be possible. After all, he is currently inside the dragon's world, and apparently those dragons are reinforcing the barrier of their dimension, making things more difficult for us to invade that world, said Kairon while looking at Infrit, who was very angry and had a lot of thirst for revenge, something that made the flames of his body become even more dangerous and strong, making a great glow come out of those flames. Infrit spoke. So what shall we do, Kairon? We let that damn mortal get even stronger, and then he'll be able to defeat us. And don't think you're out of it, because the prophecy says that all gods would be killed, and you're not out of it. In fact, because you are ours, Ray, you will be one of the only ones he will want to make sure you get killed. The flame god spoke with unparalleled fury as he talked and yelled at Kairon, who just raised his eyes and stared at Infrit. Kairon spoke, Don't be fooled into thinking that my calm is a sign of weakness, Infrit. I am the god of destruction and creation. I possess the strongest dragon's blood that has ever passed through our worlds, and this blood runs through my veins. So I won't be killed so easily. But you don't need to worry because if you keep raising your voice against me, you won't be killed by this dragon of prophecy. For if you raise your voice again against me, I will kill you myself and show you why I am the king of the gods said the king of the gods while looking at Infrit who was very afraid of Kairon because he was releasing an unusual amount of energy and that made everyone in the place find it difficult to breathe and even to stand up as other gods had already fainted because of that energy that was being released. Mira said, calm down my king, don't get carried away by anger or nonsense things, it's not worth it, let alone trying to talk to someone who doesn't even know their place. Because if I knew, I wouldn't be talking to you like this said the goddess of the dead as she hugged the side of her husband's face, bringing him closer to her. Khan said, I agree with my mother, but I also agree with Infrit, and we must understand each other because Hiko was someone important to his army. So we must take his feelings into consideration, because if any of my spirit squad members were killed, I would be angry as well, just as he is, of course. I would like to take revenge on the one who killed one of mine, said Kiran and Mira's son, arriving at the place and then staying on his father's left side while his mother was on the king's right side from gods. Kairon said, I understand his feelings. If this mortal killed one of my children, I would immediately go to meet him 
and for that reason I have already sent some gods with great powers of travel between worlds to find a way to break the barrier, or at least weaken it. And when the barrier is weak enough, we will invade that world, and at that moment, Infrit, you will have priority when it comes to killing the dragon, said the supreme god while looking at Infrit, who had now lost his look of fear and gained one of happiness, as it will be him who will have priority to kill Goku, who can transform into a dragon. Days later in the world of gods. Currently in the world of the gods, it had already been about five days since the death of Hiko, one of the wind gods of the elemental platoon. Such a thing had not yet been forgotten, and because of that, Inrift had sent all the members of his army to train millions of times. They used to train, because Infrit was waiting for the barrier in the world of dragons to be destroyed, so that he and the other elemental gods would go after Goku's head, who now managed to transform into a dragon. He was responsible for eliminating one of the members of Infrit's army. That was messing with Infrit's head so much that he only thought about Hiko day and night, not a minute passed that he didn't think about revenge, and that was worrying the other elemental gods, but they understood why Infrit was like that, and why they did not touch on that subject. Infrit thought, how long will it take for those gods to break that damn barrier, so I can kill that damn one who killed Hiko? Infrit thought as he looked at the other low rank elemental gods who were training to finish off the one who killed Hiko. While Infrit was lost in his thoughts, a god who was responsible for destroying the barrier of the dragon world came close to the god of flames, who upon realizing his presence, immediately stood up and looked at the god. Infrit said, How is the process of destroying that damn barrier? Tell me, Banki. The flame god asked the current supreme space god, Banki, who heaved a sigh before starting to speak. Banki said, We managed to break the barrier, Infrit. But don't get excited yet because you can't go to the dragon world yet. The god Banki said to Infrit who was very excited. Infrit said, Why not Banki? Kin Kran already gave me the permission to kill that damn thing that killed Hiko. So why can't I cheer up and why can't I go to the dragon world? Asked the god Infrit half annoyed to Banki. Banki said, First lower your voice Infrit. I'm not one of your gods who will bow his head to you just because you're blinded by your desire for revenge. So don't you dare speak that tone to me again, or else I'll rip your head off," said the Supreme God of Space, while looking at Infrit who soon lowered his head and his flames that got weaker. After all, Banki was not only one of the Supreme Gods, but he was also in the list of the ten strongest beings that his position was three place of the strongest among them. Infrit said, A thousand pardons, Banki. I'm really blinded by my desire to get revenge, and I didn't think straight, so I got excited. Forgive me said the god of flames with his head down to Banki who just sighed. Banki said, It's okay, but it won't happen again. Infrit, now, secondly, you can't go to the dragon's world because there isn't just one barrier, but several that prevent us, the highest level gods, from being able to access the dragon's world. Dragons, and for that reason, I can only send a few low-level gods, but only three at a time. So choose the three elemental gods you want to go to the dragon world. When you choose the three, Take them to my platoon, so I will send them to the world of dragons. Banki said to Infrit that after hearing such words, he turned around and walked away to the place of his army, leaving Infrit in that place alone. Infrit thought, I am so weak that even for him I have to lower my head, so as not to be killed. After all, I am the weakest among the supreme gods. But not for long. If I defeat this mortal and absorb his powers, I will be as strong as King Kairan and with that strength I can make everyone bow their heads to me, and I can finally have what I want most. Mira, when that happens, you will be mine, thought the god of flames while looking at Banki, leaving and leaving Infrit alone with his thoughts, because now he wants to use and absorb Goku's powers to kill all the gods, and with that power he would be able to be the most strong, and could make Mira the supreme goddess of death and queen of gods to become his. Infrit said, it's better to think about it later. Now I have to choose three of my elemental gods to face the guy who killed Hiko. I already know I'll send Kyo, god of the seas, Inki, god of the earth, and Mikia, the goddess from the fire. I will send these three to face that guy. Right after Infrit decided who would be the low-level gods he would send to face the warrior who had killed Hiko, and the reason he chose Kyo, Mikia, and Inki was that they were very close to Hiko. 
so much so that they were training more than the others, and this made Infrit want them even more to fight Goku, as they would have no pity on him. Infrit thought, yes, they are my best option. They are willing to take revenge as I am. No, in reality, they are willing more to take even more revenge than I am, and that's why they are perfect thought the god Infrit while holding a smile on his face, already imagining the head of the warrior who had killed Hiko in his hands. Now in the world of the dragons. Currently in the world of dragons, it was possible to see Goku being trained by Chi Shenron on a floating island, and he would be the first to train Goku. Chi Shenron said, You are evolving very fast, son Goku. Now let's see if you are evolving correctly. Transform into your dragon form now said the seven-star dragon while looking at Goku who was previously lifting with a huge rock that must have weighed at least a few tons. Goku said, all right, let's see if I can transform myself without the need to receive the energy of a dragon for that, said the Saiyan or dragon, immediately throwing a huge stone that was in his hand to the side and then immediately putting in lotus posture. When in the lotus posture, Goku started to concentrate his power, but it was difficult for Goku to concentrate two powers the dragon's power and the Saiyan power. Putting the Saiyans in the background and the dragons first. After that, the same started releasing his dragon power, something that started to make his body grow a little and gain characteristics of a dragon with sharp claws and fangs with a kind of huge roar that made the whole island tremble. Goku stood up with his dragon features, dragon. Chi Shenron said, Congratulations, you managed to transform into a dragon without needing my help or another dragon to do so, and that is already a big step forward, but you need to learn how to transform faster. Goku said, I know that. I still need to concentrate my separate Saiyan energy from my dragon energy and use only that, said Goku in his dragon form while doing some stretching. After all, his dragon body was different from a dragon Saiyan. Goku said, but now what do we do? Because I don't think you'd just let me transform to this form just to see if I can get it, yes or no. What did you want to do with it? Asked the Saiyan dragon to Chi Shenron, who then used his tail to hit Goku, who was hit fully in the face. Being thrown to the forest of that island, breaking several trees, Chi Shenron spoke. I don't think I need to answer any more, or do I? But in any case, now you will face me. After all, this is the best way for you to learn and evolve. Don't you agree with me, Son Goku? Said the seven-star dragon while looking at Goku, who was coming out of the forest with a small trickle of blood coming out of his mouth. Goku said, I completely agree. After all, all the power I've gotten all these years has come from several battles over the years, and with each battle I come out stronger. So if that's how I'm going to evolve, I completely accept it. Said the Saiyan dragon while looking at Chi Shenron, who had a smile on his face, and then Goku released his hidden wings and advanced towards Chi Shenron. Currently in the world of dragons, it was possible to see Goku fighting Chi Shenron on a floating island as a form of training for Goku to master his dragon powers and his instincts. Goku was using his incomplete dragon form, having only a few characteristics like his sharp claws as well as his fangs and wings, in addition to having a few dragon scales on his body. Chi Shenron, who was facing Goku that very minute of battle, was gaining more characteristics of a dragon, and that's what he wanted to see more and more Goku turning into a dragon. And Chi Shenron saw the draconic energy that was being emulated by the hybrid Goku powers, her Saiyan and Dragon. Chi Shenron, who was facing Goku in the air and dodged most of Goku's blows, and even though he was big, Goku barely landed a hit on him, and when he hit it, barely he had any effect. Goku, who was already getting tired with that fight, decides to attack Chi Shenron, who was just looking at him waiting for his next attack, and then Goku flies at high speed towards the Seven Star Dragon, trying to punch and kick the dragon that he just got carried away by Goku's blows, who took advantage of that and teleported to the back of the Seven Star Dragon and hit him with his classic Kamehameha. Goku then performed his blow that ended up hitting Chi Shenron, squarely creating a large amount of dust, and Goku, seeing this, thought that his blow had had the effect that he expected. But to Goku's unhappiness, that was not how things happened, because at the moment that even if he was going to say something, Goku ended up receiving an attack that threw him against a mountain, causing Goku to fall. Chi Shenlong said, It was a good blow, but you forgot that my skin is very resistant to key attacks, and that's why your blow didn't have the effect you wanted. And that's another lesson for you. 
Not everyone your opponents will be weak to key attacks. In some cases, they will be useless, like in my case. So, do you have any plan to face this type of opponent? Spoke the dragon while looking at the mountain where he had thrown Goku with his blow. Soon the huge boulders of the mountain that were on top of Goku's body began to shake until a large explosion of dark blue energy rolls to the heavens, and in the place where the energy had appeared, Goku stood up with his full dragon form, having all his body covered in thick dark blue scales, having a similar appearance to the Super Saiyan 4 form. Goku said, What am I going to do now that my key blows are useless against you? That's pretty simple. I just have to hit you harder than before until you fall. The dragon spoke in a more arrogant and proud tone, something that was quite normal for dragons, and such speech by Goku made Chi Shenron smile. Chi Shenlong said, That's what I wanted to hear, and that's the way I wanted to see you using it. Now come and face me like a Son Goku dragon, said the Seven Star Dragon while looking at Goku who now had a cocky grin on his face. Goku said, Want to see my dragon power? So if that's what you want, that's what you get, said Goku while looking at Chi Shenron, and soon Goku made a large amount of energy. It has released from his body, making his dark blue scales glow in a kind of dark blue neon. After releasing a large amount of his power, Goku, as lightning advanced towards the seven star dragon that he had to dodge at the last moment of Goku's onslaught, something that left him quite surprised as Goku was previously so slow that he felt bored, and now he could barely see Goku's movements. Chi Shenron thought, what an incredible increase in fighting power. Now this is a real battle, thought the seven star dragon feeling like facing Goku, who was just smiling as the surprised face mixed with the seven star dragon's excitement. Now that battle was really interested, and compared to before, it was just training. But now for both of them, they were going to fight for real. Goku seeing Chi Shenron's surprised face made him excited to face him, because he knew the seven star dragon would take the battle seriously. So the real battle would begin now. Goku like lightning started to move towards Chi Shenron, who thought that Goku would attack head on. But he was wrong, because the moment he got close to the seven star dragon, Goku started circling the dragon's body at a high speed. One so big, it was creating delay images of itself, something that was confusing Chi Shenron. Seeing a gap in Chi Shenron's defense, Goku advanced towards the dragon, with his fist charged with draconic energy. But Chi Shenron had left that gap, and seeing that Goku had taken the bait, he quickly turns around and tries to hit Goku with his fist. But as Goku was also going to do this, he just changed the direction of his fist, making the fist of the two dragons collide, causing a great destruction in that place that ended up creating a large smoke screen. In that large amount of smoke, it was possible to see some movement of a large creature inside the smoke moving. And then that smoke raised towards the skies and from that smoke came Goku and Chi Shenron, who were exchanging several punches and kicks in a melee battle body. Both dragons were taking the battle seriously, and that included Chi Shenron, who was very surprised and even scared by the speed of evolution of Goku. Because in a few days, Goku was not able to make Chi Shenron feel pain with his blows, and now Goku, it was already strong enough to make the dragon feel some pain in his body and say that some of Goku's blows would make him bruise later on. Chi Shenron thought, This battle is getting very interesting, but I feel that he is starting to be dominated by dragon instincts, and if this continues, he will turn into a dragon dominated by his own instinct, and that way Goku won't be able to control himself. He thought the seven star dragon while looking at Goku, who was starting to have a mindless beast type of expression. Slightly far from the location of Goku versus Chi Shenron. As the battle continued between Goku and Chi Shenron, the other star dragons were watching him just waiting for their movement to act if something happened. Su Shenron said, he's going to lose control, isn't he? The four star dragon spoke while looking at the other dragons beside him who were there watching Chi Shenron versus Son Goku's combat and his complete draconic transformation. Li Shenron said, for sure, before it was attacking and defending itself, but now it's just attacking like a mindless beast being guided by pure will to kill said the one star dragon while looking at Goku. Shenron said, Hey Li Shenron, get ready, because if he loses control and transforms into his true dragon form without having control of his instincts, you will have to defeat him and bring him back to normal quickly, said Shenron while looking at the one star dragon who just nodded in agreement. Back to Goku and Chi Shenron's battle. Back in the battle between Goku and Chi Shenron, it was possible to see that Chi Shenron was being cornered by Goku, 
who was attacking non-stop and without any rest. And Goku was gaining more and more dragon aspects, having his body bigger than before, something that made his clothes tear in the process. Chi Shenron thought, he's really losing control over the dragon's instincts and is transforming into his true dragon form, and that's dangerous. In that form, the power will increase at a great rate, and probably with this power, he will get me defeated. And he doesn't have control over the dragon's instincts, and that will make him attack and destroy everything that is in his way. And as I am the only one that is closest, I will be his first target, thought the dragon, as he looked at Goku, which was getting bigger as time went by. Chi Shenron thought, It's not time to be saving your strength. It's time to put this little dragon to sleep, said Chi Shenron soon, receiving a punch from Goku, but this time the seven-star dragon was able to defend and return the blow, hitting Goku full in his chest, throwing him away. But before Goku could try to recover, the seven-star dragon was on top of him, hitting him with a sequence of punches at extreme speed, hitting him so fast that he made some delayed images of its fists that were hitting Goku and leaving him in a very serious state, leaving his face so bruised that his face was deformed. Chi Shenron said, Looks like this is over, said the dragon with a sigh, but soon he got punched in his stomach, throwing him out of the place, and where Goku was, he got up and started to raise his power to a level that the entire island he was on was destroyed. Li Shenron said, It seems that he has completely lost control over his powers, and it seems that I will have to resolve this matter, thought the one-star dragon soon getting ready to go face Goku. But Li Shenron sees the seven-star dragon. He raised his paw, showing that he would face Goku in his true dragon form alone. Still in the dragon world. It was possible to see all the star dragons, including Shenron, who were looking towards the center of the place, where there was previously a floating island, but now it was only possible to see several wreckage of the same island that was completely broken and falling to the ground of that world that was nothing more. Then several golden clouds, and below them was where the evil dragons lived, or dragons that had lost the ability to distinguish what was right or wrong, and Goku was just being carried away by his dragon instincts. In the center of the place that was previously a floating island, it was possible to see a type of dome being formed, one that had a strong dark blue color, and around it was possible to see some types of dark blue Chinese dragons, made of energy circling this dome. Chi Shenron thought, he really is turning into a real dragon, but apparently he won't have the slightest control over himself, and this is very worrying. Not for me, but for the various dragons that live in this world, and that probably won't be able to survive Son Goku's powers, thought the seven-star dragon while looking at the dome. What energy that every minute was getting bigger because of the energy that was being accumulated inside the dome. With the other star dragons, now with the other star dragons who were accompanied by Shenron, on a more distant island, everyone was looking and talking about the battle that was about to start, and especially Goku's transformation into his true dragon form. Ryan Shenron said, Shouldn't we stop him from turning into a real dragon? Since if he manages to complete the transformation, he will be very powerful, and will even be a risk to our world, and that would be the death of several dragons in our world, said the two-star dragon while looking at the other star dragons beside him, who were paying close attention to the doom where Goku was completing his transformation. Wu Shenron said, It would be a good idea. But if we stop Goku now, he could end up injuring his body a lot. And not only that, if we do that, the dragon powers can be affected. And this will delay Goku's evolution with the powers of the dragon. That said, we can only wait for his transformation to be complete, and then we can defeat him and make him go back to normal, said the five-star dragon while looking at the two-star dragon that was next to him. Ryu Shenron said, actually, this might be good for him spoke the six-star dragon while looking at the other dragons beside him, who were confused and interested in what the dragon had said. Ryu Shenron said, Think about it. If he turns into a real dragon, he will feel what it's like to be a real dragon. And if that happens after he returns to normal, his dragon powers will be more used to his body, and that will make him that he is able to adapt faster with dragon powers. I'm just seeing prophets using this method said the six-star dragon while looking at the dome where Goku was, who was now at least seven meters tall and five meters wide. Shenron said Ryu is right. Even though this is dangerous, 
it will be very useful for Son Goku's training to be able to control his power faster in a short time. Li Shenron spoke, If you are speaking, then we will accept. Let's see what happens now. And I also want to know how strong Son Goku will be when he's in his true dragon form. Su Shenron thought, Let's see if with that power you will be able to defeat Chi Shenron Goku. Let's see if you will be strong enough to be able to regain control of your dragon instincts and return to normal by yourself, just like you had made with your Saiyan power. Back with Goku and Chi Shenron. Returning to the Seven Star Dragon, it was possible to see that it was floating in the same place, just waiting for Goku to come out of its energy dome so that they both start their combat, and that was something that made Chi Shenron a little nervous, but at the same time excited to face Son Goku. Chi Shenron said, Apparently none of the other Star Dragons will try to stop me from fighting Son Goku, and that means I can fight him without worrying. After all, I couldn't fight seriously before because it would end up destroying many of the island's floaters and the dragons of this world. But since they're here, it's okay for me to fight seriously. But suddenly the dark blue dome where Goku was started to crack with a loud noise, something that ended up attracting the attention of all the star dragons. Soon a big blue glow started to come out from inside the cracks of the dome where Goku was. And the more time passes with cracks, they started to appear and from there, they were coming out large amounts of draconic energy, and soon a gigantic explosion ended up happening. An explosion so big that made Shenlong create a barrier around him, and the other dragons and the rest of the energy that was being released ended up being teleported to various locations in the dragon world, so as not to end up killing the other dragons and destroying things around. Right after the big explosion of energy, it was possible to see in that place that they used to be the dome where Goku was now. There was a blue dragon all curled up like a ball, but soon he opened his giant red eyes with a slit of light afterwards. The blue dragon began to unfurl and fly to the skies, and there it gave a gigantic roar that was able to be heard throughout the entire dragon world. Both the normal dragon world and the dragons controlled by their dragon instincts. Chi Shenron said, So this is Son Goku's true dragon form. I must admit that he is very intimidating indeed. The seven star dragon spoke while looking at the dark blue scale dragon that was flying, and that was Son Goku. Goku now in his true dragon form was the same size as Shenron, and had a very similar appearance to him, but the only difference was the color of his scales, which were dark blue, with also some black scales in the middle of the dark blue scales. Goku in his true dragon form didn't have the slightest control over himself, and when he saw Chi Shenron, who was facing him, Goku gave a huge roar towards him, something that made the Seven Star Dragon sweat the little, leaving a single drop of sweat, cold running down his face. Chi Shenron said, Looks like I'll have to fight anyway. So come and show me your power, Son Goku, said the Seven Star Dragon, soon advancing towards Son Goku, who upon seeing this did the same thing. Goku in his true dragon form advanced with everything in the direction of the Seven Star Dragon. The moment Goku got close enough to Chi Shenron that he managed to dodge Goku's fangs that had tried to bite him and started attacking the body of Goku using his claws that were imbued with the dragon energy he possessed, something that ended up making some cuts on Goku's body. Chi Shenron thought, his scales are very tough. If he was a normal dragon, he would have been split in half by my claws but I only managed to make small wounds on his body, thought the Seven Star Dragon as he looked at the wounds that were by Goku's body. There were quite a few, and the few that they had were superficial. Goku feeling Chi Shenron's blows that ended up injuring him, so Goku turned his face and looked at Chi Shenron, and seeing that he was in his sights, he concentrated his energy in his mouth, and from it came a large beam of electrical energy that ended up hitting the side of Chi Shenron's body who had managed to escape from Goku's blow. Chi Shenron thought, I have a great resistance to key attacks, and even though this attack hurt me a lot, if it was someone else I would be dead right away, thought the Seven Star Dragon while looking at the edge of his body which was burnt because of Goku's electric attack that was flying while looking at Chi Shenron as if he was prey and Goku was a hunter.
in the world of gods. Currently in the world of gods, it was possible to see Infrit along with three other gods of low rank chosen by Infrit. And even though they are low rank, they are powerful. And they are Kyo, the gods of the sea, Inki, the god of the land, and Mikia, the goddess of fire. And they will all be led by Banki, the supreme god of space. Banki said, So these three are the three you chose to fight the warrior who killed Hiko? I admit that they have great potential latent within them, and that is impressive. Even though you are the weakest supreme god, you have young talents that will easily surpass you in a few years, Infrit. Impressive! The space god spoke while looking at the three young elemental gods, Kyo, Inki, and Mikia. Infrit thought, I know they have a lot of latent potential inside them, and that's great for my platoon, but calling me weak and without potential like that is humiliating, thought the god of flames as he looked at Banki, who was still analyzing the three young elemental gods. Infrit thought, but don't worry, Bunky, because when they kill this dragon warrior, I will absorb his powers, and I will become stronger, and on that day, I will show you who is weak. And who is the weakest of the supreme gods? Thought the god while looking at Bunky, and just thinking about the day of making Bunky kneel in front of him, fearing for his life. It made Infrit let out a corner smile that no one had noticed. Infrit said, That's right, Bunky. They are mine. Welcomed to avenge Hiko. They are of low rank, but they have great potential, as you said before. And not only that, but they were part of a group called Primordial Elements, where Hiko was the leader, and they really wanted the chance to avenge their leader. And now they will have that chance. Banki said, Really? Revenge makes everyone more motivated to become stronger, and apparently that made you all stronger. So let's stop all this talk, because we can go now. I'll open the portal for you three to have access to the world of dragons said the god, soon turning around and starting to walk towards the portal he had created for the world of dragons. Soon Banki guided everyone to a room made exclusively of marble, along with several silver and gold details, along with some other precious jewels, and in the center of it was a large black portal that resembled a black hole, but with some white details. Banki said, This is the portal that will take you to the world of dragons, and there you will have 24 hours to return to our world. If you go beyond that, there will be no turning back. That said, your mission is simple. Go kill the warrior who is destined to kill all of us gods, and then return to our world. Banki said while looking at the portal, and then at the young gods who were in front of him. Kyo, Inki, and Mikia said, Yes, sir. We promise to fulfill our mission and avenge our ex-leader, Hiko. All three young elemental gods spoke in a uniting cry while looking at Banki, and then at Infrit, who was feeling proud of his chosen youth. Infrit said, and what are you still waiting for? The portal is open, so go and bring me the head of that damned one who killed your leader," said the god of flames while looking at the three warriors, who soon shot at high speed into the portal, leaving only a trace of their elements that they controlled. Infrit thought, Go, my warriors, and bring me the one who makes me stronger, stronger than the gods. With that power I can make Mira my wife, thought the god as he looked at the portal where his three warriors had passed. Now in the world of dragons, in the world of dragons, it was possible to see a huge dark blue dragon facing the seven-star dragon, which already had some injuries on his body. While the huge dragon had some too, but his were superficial compared to the seven-star dragon. Chi Shenron said, I admit I was underestimating him, but I'm going to fight seriously now, Son Goku, so let's fight like dragons. Spoken Chi Shenron, soon releasing a large amount of energy, making the seven stars glow brightly. Soon, a large amount of energy surrounded the body of the seven-star dragon, and from it was formed a gigantic dragon the size of Goku, that being the true dragon form of Chi Shenron. Right after the Chi Shenron transformation, he advanced towards Goku who did the same thing, and soon both dragons were facing each other, being that they were both biting each other or using their claws to rip each other's scales. And when they were both apart, both fired their key attacks from their mouths, with Goku shooting lightning and Chi Shenron shooting a type of blast of stones mixed with his dragon key. With the other star dragons and Shenron, Li Shenron said, Awesome! Now that Chi Shenron has entered his true dragon form, he's managed to injure Goku for real. But apparently Goku is getting stronger as the battle progresses. The one star dragon spoke while looking at the battle that was previously balanced, but now Goku was starting to gain the upper hand against the seven star dragon. Ryu Shenron said, I noticed that too. The longer the battle goes on, the more Son Goku is getting more powerful. And that's good, but it's worrying as he still hasn't regained his consciousness, said the six-star dragon while looking for the battle between the two true dragons. San Shenron said, 
This is because he still has a Saiyan body, and because of that he will get more powerful as the battle goes on. In fact, the more injured he is, the stronger he will become. So keep a battle against an opponent strong enough to injure him. It's a very good thing for him, as he is the Saiyan race," said the four-star dragon while looking at the other star dragons by his side. Stopping the conversation between the star dragons, everyone turned their attention to the battle of the two true dragons, where every minute Goku gained more advantage and became stronger, managing to dodge Chi Shenron's blows, and that made Chi Shenron worried. In a distant location of the battle between Goku and Chi Shenron, on an island with some sleeping dragons, it was possible to see a portal being opened, and from them three beings came out making the dragons wake up and face the three beings in front of them. Those being the three gods who were sent to kill Goku and take his head to the world of the gods. Mikia spoke. Is this the world the damn one who killed my love is in? It really must be this one, since it stinks a lot here, and only in a place like this for this dragon to be able to live said the fire goddess as she looked around, seeing the landscape of that world that she thought was horrible. Inki said, Really, this world is horrible, and just being here makes me sick. So let's kill that guy soon and avenge our leader. The earth god spoke in a firm tone, and at the same time felt disgust. Kyo said, Let's go, but what are we going to do with them first? Asked the god to the seas of his companions, who soon saw the dragons that were on that island, most of which were cubs. Mekia said, more than cute, what are we going to do? <laughs> Spoken to God, giving an affectionate smile that soon became a psychotic smile, just like his companions, making the dragons retreat. Inki said, but of course, let's do the same thing that damn dragon did to our leader. The earth god spoke and soon the three gods ascended to the heavens. In the sky, Inki using his earth power began to destroy the floating island and to compress it, Kyo using his water powers made a barrier for none of the dragons to leave that place. And to finish, Mikia using her fire power threw it on the island. That was to incinerate all of the dragons that were on the island, killing and leaving not even their bones. Mikia said, Now that our anger has been relieved a little, let's go after our true objective. Kill the one who killed Hiko, and let's do it the best way possible. Ha ha ha, said the goddess showing her anger, just thinking about the one who had killed her lover. Inky said, Looks like we are going to have to search a lot. In that direction, there's been a very intense battle, and I think he must be there, said the god while pointing in the direction where he was feeling a lot of energy. Kyo said, That's excellent. If he's already injured, all the better for us, said the god while clenching his fists, and soon the three left the place at high speed, heading towards the energy they felt. With that, folks, we've reached the end of another video today, so for those who like the content of this channel, leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to leave your comment, which is very important for the channel. So I'll see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.